Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katrina and today we are jumping right in to part two, picking up where we left off on these adorable acrylic Minnie Mouse tumblers. Now, if you have not seen part one, you definitely need to pause, back up and go watch part one for step-by-step -step tutorial. But if you are up to speed and you are ready to go with part two, we are finishing off the ears, the lids of the tumblers, which sometimes can be a little tricky and you might say, how do you do the lids? But I got you. today. I'm going to show you how I do it with using the Mod Podge and epoxy method. This was just what I came up with, but I want you guys to stay tuned, check it out, because I know you can't wait to see the final results. They came out so cute. So guys, if you want to find part one first, it's linked down below in the description box and it's at the end card of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel because you know I got you covered in all things behind the scenes of my business, helping you grow yours. So let's get started without further ado and let's finish these Minnie Mouse acrylic tumblers for kids or adults if you just love Minnie Mouse like me. Let's jump into the video. Okay, so I have the tops. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glitter one for sure, but I haven't decided. I think I might bling this one just to add some pizzazz to it and just to differentiate. So I definitely going to um, glitter this one and this one I'm still deciding. So first things first, you definitely want to clean off I'm using a 70% alcohol. You wanna get out any smudges, fingerprints. Just gonna clean that off before I start. And I have this little paper towel just stuffed in the hole because I do not want glitter to get underneath. So I have that, I have the rim taped off so glitter doesn't get on the rim as well. So I'm gonna Mod Podge it using the gloss finish going to put it on the top and then I will probably end up epoxy in the top or to give it a because I do want that nice gloss finish I don't like you know the texture with the top of Maj Par so I'll seal it with either um, epoxy or with um, triple thick so we'll see once I'm done but I'm going to go ahead and just use Maj Podge for the base to get it all on because of course I can't put that on my turner and I'm just using, I love these boxes, they come free. So I just use these to keep from wasting all my butcher paper. So I'm just gonna do even strokes all the way around. As even as I can, because it's definitely definitely not a smooth surface. You got all these little corners, cracks, and crevices. And you know with Mod Podge, you do have to work pretty fast. So I'm going to try to get this covered as quickly as I can to get my first layer of glitter on. Getting around that hole, and I just don't want no glitter in the hole. I'm going to seal the edges. This should be really nice. He wants the top black. So even though the top right here is pink and I'll have them, my you know clients can customize whatever color they want their tumbler to be. But this top is going to be black because the ears are black. So you won't even be able to tell that the actual tumbler is pink unless you look inside so i'm just going to use a paper plate to catch the glitter of course i want the glitter nice and smooth all the way around okay let's see how much glitter we can use Shaking all the excess off. Okay. 
making sure I get in all those little corners. Ooh, got Mod Podge on my finger. Okay. That's the first level and it's still kind of transparent. So you definitely need more Mod Podge. I do not want to be able to see and I have a whole empty section right here. So you just want to go back and apply more. I'm gonna let that sit for just a second. Like you can still see my fingers underneath. So I'm just give that a few minutes and I'm gonna apply a second coat. So I'm going in with my second layer of Mod Podge. And by the way, I am using a soft bristle brush, bristle brush, <laughs> so that way I can bend and it can flex because this is, you know, a curved top lid. So you want to make sure you're using a soft bristle brush so that way you can get it wherever you want and it's flexible. So I'm making sure this time around that my Mod Podge is going to be even smoother. I want a nice coat so that way I can really get on a nice good amount of glitter so that way you cannot see through this time. So I'm just going ahead and I'm going to smooth it out as much as possible to get a much better coat the second time around. All the corners. So two layers of glitter should be fine, but we'll definitely check it to see. I'm trying to use the tape to rotate it. And that's definitely covered now. Okay. Okay, so that's that. I'm gonna seal that in. Ooh, why did I do that? Trina, why did you do that? <laughs> I'm just gonna take some right here and cover that back. Why did you do that? It was so smooth. I thought it was bumpy. Okay, gonna let that sit and then I'll Mod Podge that. So I literally went and took the other black one out to both of the tumblers like to just put it up there to the top and instead of blinging this i just think it would look so cute still with the black glitter at the top so i'm gonna go ahead and just do the same thing repeat the same process and do the black at the top unless i change my mind at the last minute and do red just to give some variety but i think the black ears look really nice so same steps, and I'll speed this up. 
I really did want to see how it was going to look if I had have used the rhinestones, but I didn't have enough black, you know, rhinestones to do full coverage, I believe. So I didn't want to start it and then didn't have enough. And I want to see how these sell first, because once you add rhinestones and bling, of course, the price goes up. Who doesn't love glitter? So I went ahead and just decided to do glitter for, you know, the first two lids. But I will come back and show you how I bling out and use rhinestones. But for the purpose of this video and, and time and to keep the price down the first time selling these, I just went ahead and glittered the tops. So I'm just going to put this back in here as well. And I did take them in my garage to seal them. And I'll show you what I use. And then we can get ready to epoxy them. Because the bottom is epoxy, so I can't, I, I want to keep the same consistency, the same feel. And I'm just going to pull this out just to see how that looks. And because I have a little bit of, I'm going to take my finger. I already did the other one, but I'm just going to show you what I did. Just take my finger, stop that up. I'm just going to get this excess glitter just to fill in where that glue is. Just that little piece of glue. I got glitter literally everywhere because I was drinking it. I don't know why I just did that. I just want to fill that part in. I want to make sure that's all sealed, but I don't want it going inside. Even though I'm going to clean out the bottom, that's just pre to prevent as much excess glitter as I can from getting inside. Okay, and there we go. So this is the sealer that I use. I just used the clear gloss by rust -Oleum, just sprayed it, and I'm gonna let that sit for a good 15 minutes or so, and then I'll go ahead and epoxy that. So I have about 10 mLs total. I'm hoping that I won't need no more than that because these are really small lids. This is the first time I'm actually epoxying these type of lids. So I am hoping that I can get a nice, um, even smooth coat. I'm gonna actually tape the inside where that hole is underneath the bottom. That's what I need to do to make sure epoxy doesn't get on the inside of the cup. So I'm just gonna take a small piece of this tape and just place it on the inside, covering that hole. So that hole right there, I'm just taking this tape and I'm just going to fill that up just like that for both pieces all right and I'm gonna do it one at a time make sure they don't touch I'm literally gonna hold it in my hand and just take this epoxy and just smooth it right on out right over it It's definitely, I need fitted gloves. Making sure I get in all those corners. Is the Mod Podge okay? So the Mod Podge is coming through. Um, so I'm gonna keep going because I have to keep going, but I'm gonna go a little lighter. Ah, see that? But that should dry, hopefully. If not, I'll just have to sprinkle more glitter. but I really do not want to sprinkle more glitter. So I'm hoping that that dries. I moved some of the glitter. Yep, I moved some of the glitter on the, on the ear. Let's see if I can get this one good. All right, so I'm going to pour it on this time and spread it out. 
and just try to go lightly. I think I went a little bit too rough on that one. Oh, I didn't feel it though, but the ears might be still just a little sensitive. Come on, garage light. Okay, let's get the ears. These big old gloves. So the trick is going to be doing this ear and trying to get it as smooth as possible. As smooth as possible. So I do need to come back and just shake a little bit more glitter because of course I have to fill that in. I don't think that's going to clear out. So I definitely got to shake glitter on that. I'm trying to be very careful. that all the glitter was removed. Okay, so I'm gonna hit that with the heat gun really quick. Try to get that as even, try to get out those bubbles. And I'm just hitting it with the heat gun. My heat gun is kind of far. I can definitely see where it's uneven at. So I will definitely have to do a second coat of epoxy. But I'm gonna let that sit and see how that goes. So here you can see me sanding the cups because I did them both at the exact same time. So this wasn't included in part one, but I did go back and sand the cups before I did my final layer of epoxy, just smoothing out any of those glitter bumps that still might be going through, any bubbles that I still didn't get them get to hit out. So you'll see me sanding it, just giving it a light sand, and I'm going to sand out the ears just where I had to add more glitter on top of the epoxy. So just trying to get it nice and smooth, but because it's a unique lid doesn't really have to be perfect just gives it more character gives it more style so i'm just going to wipe this down with alcohol clean off the sanding and recoat this i'm sorry i'm not in full view of the ears for you guys but i started out with the tumbler so the camera was pointed in that direction but all i'm doing is using my fingers to apply the remaining epoxy all over the ears giving full coverage my finger allows me to smooth it out completely and better as opposed to using a brush and because i don't have a turner i'm just using the turner stand for my first turner to set it and rest it on i'm going to let it sit for six to eight hours so it dries but now i'm just going to zap it with my heat gun getting out any air bubbles that might be remaining these bad boys are almost done let's check it out so these 
are the finished lids. I actually stuffed the insides and I gave it a light sanding around the rim because if you do sand epoxy, you do have to put another layer of epoxy on it to remove it. But I didn't want to do that because I do want it thin because it has to screw down on the lid and I didn't want it too bumpy. So if you can kind of see, it's not the best. It's not straight that, but you know, I did this by hand. It's not on a turner so it can turn. So I had to do the best I could. I'm pretty sure kids are not going to be analyzing it. <laughs> but um, I, after I sanded it, I stuffed it and I just gave it a light coat of, um, of clear gloss sealer, just the top of this. So I had this covered as well and I sealed it so that way you wouldn't see the sand, the sanding marks. So I'm just gonna let this sit for just a few minutes. And after it's done, I will show you the final reveal. Here are the finished tumblers. I think they came out great. Rotate them for you guys. That's the bottom. But let's take a look up close. Of course, I glittered the top with epoxy as well. That's how they look on the inside. I'm just going to go, oh, and I forgot to take the tape out. I still have to go ahead and clean them up. Now, you can, if you want, you know, um, like spray paint the tops, you know, like spray paint the whole inside, but I probably wouldn't just because it's a kid's drink. Even though once spray paint is completely dry and cured, it is toxic free, but I wouldn't, um, I just wouldn't do that. It doesn't matter. It's clear. You can still see the black this way. I was trying to get just a tiny small piece, you know, of epoxy, you know, around the lip, you know, the seal in that glitter. Um, it is kind of hard because I had, I, even though I taped it off, I just didn't want it really thick and clunky because it still has to close down. So I'll perfect that method because you see, you can kind of see around the sides. It's not even the way I really want it to. And that's just because of the way the glitter fell or the way the epoxy fell. And I didn't want to sand it again because if I sanded it again, then that mean I would have had to do another layer of epoxy. So I'm just leaving it like this for now. So I'll definitely perfect that method um, around the rim to get it nice and smooth, you know, because this part was doing it with your hand. There's nothing to turn to, you know, get it nice and level. But um, this is handcrafted. This is one of a kind. <laughs> so this is what they're going to get. And I think any kid was is just going to love this. This is the inside of them now these are double wall this method i just epoxied and did the outside but you can crack the hole in here and of course put the glycerin or baby oil whatever method you use and do the shaking snow globe type so i'll definitely be doing some of those as well but for this one i just want to do something fast and to get this up on my site i just think these came out so nice someone already ordered this one of course so i'm shipping this one out today and if you want to see how i pack and ship all of my tumblers, different mugs, my bling mugs. I'm going to be doing a tutorial today as well to package and ship these up. So I'm going to finish cleaning these off, package them up. These came with straws as well. I got these from the stainless steel depot.com, um, but you can get them like off of Alibaba. You can get them from DH Gate. There's so many places where you can get these tumblers from. So, you know, you just shop around whichever one is the best price, best shipping methods for you. But this is how they came out. If you like this tutorial, if you thought this tutorial was helpful in any way, or if you just want to support your girl and help my channel out, go ahead and give this video a like and share it with a friend or any other crafters. If you would like to order any Anything that you see, I'll have my Etsy shop link post down below in the description box below as well. Guys, thanks for watching so much, and I will see you in the next video. Hot dog.